Climate change could hit the Midwest more than some could have imagined. Part of a study by the National Climate Assessment shows potential extreme temperatures could be damaging for farmers. And that's bad news for their pocketbooks and your dinner plate. WCIA3's Raquel Martin is live in Springfield. So, Raquel, what exactly does the report say and how are farmers reacting? Paul, when you look at this study, it really is a daunting fate. They show that extreme weather, extreme heat, or extreme cold could be the single biggest threat to agriculture production here in the Midwest. They show in about 50 years, they predict that corn yield could be down nearly a quarter, and for soybean, that number is even higher. They also show that extreme heat could be bad news for livestock. What happens next would be a ripple effect to the larger economy. Food prices would increase and farmers buying power would dwindle hurting industries well beyond the cornfields now already experts are suggesting farmers start thinking of a game plan to prepare I talked to one expert who says he believes still it's all preventable you know, in reality there are things that we're doing and there's things we can do in the future to lessen the impacts down the road so it's not we're not set or not we're not doomed for a certain or destined for a certain destiny we actually can have control of how it's going to play out in the future now, expert scientists behind the study say coal pollution is to blame. They suggest moving away from coal energy to more sustainable and clean forms. Now, that suggestion is already sparking some controversy. The report shows that half the energy used here in the Midwest is from coal energy. Now, President Trump has already made it clear that he's not looking to go away from coal energy. Now, coming up tonight at 6, I'll tell you why some environmentalists stormed the Capitol today to protest coal. For now, live at the Capitol Newsroom, Raquel Martin, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Raquel, we'll look forward to that report at 6. Thanks. So what do experts say farmers should do? Switch their planting and pollination dates. And how often chemicals are used? Those changes can reduce vulnerability to extreme heat or cold.